साइंस दिस इज द डेली लॉट फॉर मिलियंस ऑफ इम्पॉवरिश्ड पीपल लिविंग इन एफ्रीका फिल्थी पोल्यूटेड वॉटर चोक्ड विद रॉबिश Without any proper plumbing, wastewater is simply thrown outside. Collecting clean water is a daily struggle in this township in South Africa. The communal taps dotted around the slum are few and far between. Usually it is the women, often accompanied by their children, who fetch the day's water for drinking, cooking and washing. Years under apartheid rule meant segregated areas like this informal township received little or no investment. Any basic infrastructure is virtually non-existent. The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research is one of many facilities trying to tackle the problem. Do you know that in South Africa that diarrhea is the third leading cause of death in young children under the age of 5 and in adults even it's the eighth leading cause of death and diarrhea is predominantly caused by waterborne diseases at least 80% of that is caused by waterborne diseases so i think clean water is obviously going to be very very important researchers at Stellenbosch University in South Africa have developed an innovative and inexpensive solution a filter shaped like a tea bag that fits into the neck of a bottle there are 300 million people in Africa that don't have access to safe water and we think that this filter will make a huge difference uh, in the lives of those people using nanotechnology the filter turns dirty water into clean water as you drink it its creators claim it's the only water filter in the world to kill all the bacteria uh, many of the people in africa are hiv uh, positive they've got aids and uh, they would die normally from cholera if they get a cholera infection they die because they don't have an immune system to fight the cholera in all of those cases where people will now get water that do not contain cholera that does not contain cholera uh it would mean that they would have a prolonged life expectancy and their quality of life would be a lot better using a process called electro spinning researchers produced a tiny filter which looks like a tea bag it was developed using nano fibers each fiber is about 100th of the width of a human hair and filters out microscopic bacteria the small biodegradable filter is filled with activated carbon which removes dangerous chemicals and kills off deadly bacteria There are many many children one out of 5 children uh in Africa under the age of 5 die as a result of a waterborne infection and uh, we hope to save their lives through distributing these filters through clinics through schools um and a variety of other mechanisms so the impact here will undoubtedly be uh extensive uh and it will make a significant difference to the quality of life of people of, of millions of people in Africa But seeing is believing and this researcher is off to find a stream in which to demonstrate his invention. The filter which costs about 2 cents per liter of clean water is in the process of being mass produced. There are plans currently underway to ship them around the world. The university has also received inquiries from authorities in flood hit areas in China and Pakistan. And according to the professor, it doesn't affect the taste of the water. Oh, that's fresh. You must taste it to actually believe it, eh? It is uh, really, really excellent.